this game. This game is so unreal. spicy. Unreal. <laughs> People do have to die. Why are you looking at me when you say that, Eric? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is fun. This is fun. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad one of I'm glad you're having fun now. I am. Tap smarter, not harder. <laughs> 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 of Commander Arcade. Today we are joined by two Commander Arcade guests new to the show, Aaron and Nell. Aaron is the leader of the Lady Planeswalker Society here in the Twin Cities, so I'm very excited to get her on the show. And Nell's is just some guy we know. Aaron and Nell's brought some of their favorite Commander decks to play, so Maria and I brewed up some decks with some fun cards from Murders at Karlov Manor that our influencers over on our Patreon helped us choose. So you can become one of those patrons who influences our episodes episodes by heading to patreon.com slash glhf magic. We have a bunch of different levels to donate at, but $10 is our commander level. That's the influencers. They influence our commander arcade episodes. And we're so, so very thankful for everybody who helps this content get made. If you're like, why is Megan laughing? It's because this took us so many takes. <laughs> this took us a lot of takes, you guys. <laughs> Let's put Megan out of her misery and hit the tables. What do you say? Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm Megan, and I'm going to be playing Vanifar Evolved Enigma. What are we playing in our deck? I don't know. Cards? What are we casting? Could be anything. I guess some spells. It's just a mystery that will have to be uncloaked. Hi, I'm Erin. I run the Lady Planeswalker Society here in the Twin Cities, and I am playing Greensleeves Marrow Sorcerer. She's a creature that gets bigger with every land that I control. She has protection from wizards and from planeswalkers, and every time I play a land, I make a 3-3 green badger creature token. So my goal is just to play as many lands as I possibly can and get as many badgers in return, and I mean, that's a pretty fair trade, I think. Hi, I'm Nels, and uh, today I'm going to be playing with the commander Essica, God of the Tree. Except I'm not going to play with this side. I'm playing with the other side, which is the Prismatic Bridge, a legendary enchantment that allows me to cheat out lots of big gods and other creatures. My deck also has lots of other ways to double this effect and also cheat out creatures in different ways. My plan is to hope that nobody takes care of my Prismatic Bridge, and it just executes as many times as possible, and I fill the board with as many indestructible monsters as possible. Hi friends, today we're gonna to be playing Rakdos, Patron of Chaos. And Chaos is certainly what we're going to be patroning. Patronizing. Patreon.com slash GLH of Magic. Uh, what's actually gonna be happening is my deck is full of demons, uh, which I'm very excited about. And demons don't much like having other creatures on the table alongside them. So I'm going to try to make all of my opponents sacrifice as many creatures as possible and give more blood to the blood god. So we've done the die roll, and Nels, you've won the die roll. Yeah. So you true. can go first. All right, well, I'll draw for turn. Amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> was that a good or bad? Amazing. I love so that good. your first draw is already like, oh my god, material. Like, nothing has happened yet. Oh my god. Brent. Oh my god. <laughs> now we're right. killing you oh first. No. I'm just telling you right now. I'm just so excited. Uh, I'm going to play a Seaside Citadel tapped, and I'll pass turn. All right. I'm going to draw. I will play this uh, Yamamaya Coast. And I will tap for colorless because I do have my soul ring in my hand. Wow. wow. Okay, now the yeah, exactly. I I'm going to kick things off over here in Satan land with uh, Black Cleave Cliffs. <laughs> what is an intense name for your area of the battlefield? <laughs> well, I am the Demon Boys. That's true. Uh, and I'm going to also tap one for my soul ring. Wow. Oh, snap. Who's the threat now? <laughs> I'll wear the crown briefly. Uh, go ahead, Aaron. OK, I will draw. I am going to play a forest. Oh. And I will pass. Interesting. No threat. Right. Don't worry. I am going to play Caves of Coilos. Oh. I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to play Farseek. Ooh. And I'll pass a turn as I go and get. All right. We're going to let Nels search his library on his own time. Yes. Yeah. Nels, that's basically like a soul ring, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, just it's a, a land and soul ring. Sorcery speed is, what's Farseek? Is it instant? It's I think it's, yeah, it's, it's a sorcery. sorcery. Okay, yeah. sorcery speed, soul so ring. So I'm the threat is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, no, All right, threat, yeah. I'm going to play this forest, and then I'm going to, I'm going to cast my first 
This one's a morph. <gasps> this is my oh. first morph of the game. But what is it, Megan? It's a mystery. <laughs> All right, keep your secrets. Oh, I will. <laughs> you... Wait, Nels needs to draw me. Nels needs to draw me a little morph. Uh, a mor just a morph. Uh, exactly, a morph cover. Morph Since cover. Okay. my face gel thing is going to be several things. Exactly. Go ahead, Maria. Excellent. It's uh... an enigma. Ooh. Uh, okay, so I somehow have three mana. That seems <laughs> cheaty. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, it feels busted. It feels busted to me personally. I'm gonna play a swamp. Uh, so, so now I have four mana, totally busted. And I'm gonna play this plague drone, everybody. This is a 3-3 three, oh. three demon. First demon of the game alert uh, with flying. And it ha it's a Warhammer card, so it has the flavor text or the flavor keywording of rot fly. Oh. Uh, if an opponent would gain life, that player loses that much life instead. Oh. What? Okay. Is anybody gaining life at this table? Not at this particular moment. No. Yeah, no. maybe someday. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Or are you? <laughs> Disappointing. I will that, draw. that is a that nightmare. Is, that is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see what it flips into. Oh, okay. yeah, we don't know what's uh, underneath. Uh -oh. It's scary. Horrifying. Okay, I will play a Yavamaya Cradle of Growth. So each land is a forest in addition to the other land types. So it might oh. help you out. But, wow. um, all right. So these well, are all well, forest here? Wow. Yep. Everything's a forest. And then I will pay two for Sakura Tribe Elder. Uh, I can oh. sack him and search my library for a basic land card and then put that on the battlefield tapped and then shuffle. We love us a Sakura Tribe And it's tribe a beautiful Elder. printing. Yeah. Uh, well, Steve, he's all fancy. How <laughs> <laughs> fast. Fancy Steve. Everyone loves a fancy Steve. <laughs> Path of Ancestry tapped. Well, everything I have is a forest. This is really handy. <laughs> You're welcome. Aaron. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. We're going to tap three and play Weaver of Harmony. Uh, two, two. Uh, other enchanted creatures I control get plus one, plus one. And I can pay one green and tap it to copy a target activated or triggered ability I control from an enchantment source. Uh, and then also Ignoble Hierarch, which is just a zero one that taps for black, red, green, and also is exalted. But I gotta say, we're probably not gonna see it. Be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, never don't, say never. Don't sell that buddy short. <laughs> you don't know what he's capable of. Yeah, he could be a superstar late game. That is true. Yes. That is true. All right, everyone. Okay, I was, you know, I was considering some attacking, but everyone has so much going on. So I think maybe I'm just gonna play this island. I have one, two, three, four, five. Wow, again, feels feels busted. Does feel busted. Uh, I am going to tap one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna play this Vanifar, Evolved Enigma, at the, uh, at the beginning of my first main phase, or at my first main phase, which is important because she's a three, four, and at the beginning of combat on my turn, I can either cloak a card from my hand or put a plus one, plus one counter on each colorless creature I control, which feels uh, pretty sick. Uh, I'm going to go to the beginning of combat and I am going to go ahead and I am going to put, I'm going to cloak this card from my hand. That's a land, I'm calling it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, Maria thinks that this is it's a land. land. It's a land. Uh, Nels, if you will make me a cloak covering for this. And then I am going to go ahead and pass the turn to Maria. Excellent. Things are already getting out of control as usual at this table. I'm gonna play an unclaimed territory and choose demon. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. surprise. We are all <laughs> shocked. <laughs> uh, and I also have five mana, um, but I don't need all of that. I'm going to play, um, use two of it to cast a, um, wait, I can just do it like this. Uh, one and two in the Unclaimed Territory. Um, to play an Heirloom Mirror. Do you remember this card, everybody? No. I do not. Uh, one and tap, I pay a life, discard a card, draw a card, mill a card, then put a ritual counter on Heirloom Mirror. Then if it has three or more counters on it, remove them and transform it. That uh, can only be done at sorcery speed and it turns into Inherited Fiend. Huh? We've all inherited a fiend or two in our lives. You know what I mean? <laughs> have it with, this yeah. is a four, four flyer, uh, two and a black, exile target creature card from a graveyard and then put a plus one, plus one counter on the fiend. So the fiend, the fiend. We're we're a ways away from the fiend yeah. right now. The fiend is just a mirror. But <laughs> wow. you know what? You know what this is? Is that a metaphor? This is the unknown from the Willy Wonka experience <laughs> in Glasgow. Oh, I saw that. This is also the unknown from the Willy Wonka experience <laughs> in Glasgow. Nels, never make a children's book. <laughs> <laughs> These are the two main characters. <laughs> Horrifying. Uh, so. I, well, I can attack though with my okay. plague drone. Yeah. yeah. But you've got morphs and stuff that you might come at me with. Oh, they're 
they're a mystery. Okay, I'm not gonna attack them. <laughs> I'll pass. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to sack Sakura Tribe Elder to look for oh, a four. Oh, Steve. Steve. I know, Steve. Steve. He's a means to an end. It's what Steve does. Yeah. And as always, you okay. are very welcome in our game to always do the gentleman shuffle, which I don't know why that's what we call it, but it is the gentleman search, is. which is where you only search as much of your library as you feel you need to look into to find the card. Yeah. So that you do not have to shuffle the whole thing if you do not want to. Big fan. Um, although Erin was bragging about how she can shuffle her <laughs> oh, deck, and yeah. that was very competent. So that was incredibly exercise. competent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will draw for turn. I will. Play a myriad landscape tapped. Uh, it enters the battlefield tapped, and then it can add a colorless. And then I can pay two and sack it, and I can look for two basic land cards. Put them onto the battlefield tapped. All right. So I don't have a whole lot else to do, so I'm just gonna pass. All right. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna play an island for turn. I think it's time. Come blue, on. Blue, blue. <gasps> uh, another color, black. Green, red, and I'll take one from the Caves of Poilos. First blood. First blood. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to cast my commander, which is an enchantment. The wow. Prismatic Bridge. So, legendary enchantment. At the beginning of my upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature or planeswalker card. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom in a random order. All right. So things are going to start to get out of control yes. here yes. pretty fast. Hopefully. Um, I'm just saying someone should maybe kill that Weaver of Harmony before he can do it twice. I'm just saying. Oh, That's a good point. Yeah. I don't I have didn't think any about idea that. what you're talking about, <laughs> Megan. I'm just offering that as a possibility. Mm. All right. Uh, and uh, so your morphs and cloaks, the, are those are, those are two, two creatures. I probably yeah. should have added that. Oh, it's um, girl. Add it. Yeah. Give me that go. marker. Yeah. There we go. That is an important quality of them. Um... And uh, just because, why not? You, uh, I'm going to attack Aaron. <gasps> okay. Wow. Uh, for two. Two. I will take two. That's what we do in magic, right? Yeah. That, yeah. We that, is, that is, in Wait, my it, opinion, the most important step of the yeah. game. All and right. And we apologize for attacking. Yes. There's nothing personal. Friends no more. Aaron's <laughs> <laughs> like, it's over. <laughs> All right. I'm going to play this Dream Root Cascade, which is untapped. And interesting, I'm going to go to the, oh wait, no, I'm not going to, I'm still in my main phase because I'm going to cast this hide in plain sight, uh, which is look at the top five cards of your library, cloak two of them and put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Two more lands no. calling you right oh. now. <laughs> two, three, four. Maria thinks every cloaked card is a land. Land, don't believe you. Ooh. I don't know. There's some pretty cool stuff in here that's not a land. Some pretty cool lands. <laughs> wow. Okay. Sick lands. It's nice to feel safe. Sick <laughs> lands, man. Yeah. yeah. This is definitely this one. Big time land. Yeah. For I'm just sure. gonna be in my safe little cocoon, and believing Ooh, those are lands. This one also a land. <laughs> uh, and then I will. I'm running out of things that I'm able to draw. You drew a haunting smiley face oh, no, and a Baba Duke. And a Baba Duke. <laughs> and you're out. These are, these are both uh, cloaked. Yes, okay. they're both cloaked. I like how you spell it like Shakespeare. Oh, Cloaked. Yeah. Actually, this one would be cloaked. Cloaked. Uh, yeah. To make it. Anyways, we don't have to talk about what it would be in Shakespearean English. Too late. Um, I'm going to move to the beginning of combat and put a plus one, plus one counter on each this colorless face down creature okay. I control. I don't know what you're talking about. Why is it awful? Oh my god. That's rude. <laughs> true. It's true. Rude. Rude. It's true. That's what it is. <laughs> true. Truly rude. Um. All right. Um. And then, I guess I am going to go ahead and. This is a three-three. I'm going to go ahead and attack. Maria. Wait, wait, no, I'm gonna attack Nels. I'm definitely yeah, attacking Yeah, I was like, Nels. what? I'm not doing <laughs> no, I'm attacking Nels. It's a great point. Definitely attacking Nels with oh, this 3-3. Really good tokens. Oh, look at this. Nice. It's just a flower. Yeah, it's I tried a land. To it a little bit. <laughs> I feel like you wrote ch clou clouk? <laughs> clouk down that one. I'm determined well, to not spell it in a Clocked. <laughs> this one is just clocked. Uh, Nels, I'm attacking you for three. For three. Yeah, I'll for take three. three. All right, Maria, your turn. You know, I realize now that I did attack you with creature, so was exalted. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. Gotta remember Oopsies. my cards. Yeah. Okay, 
I'll play my land for turn, which is going to be a molten slag heap. What'd you call me? It's my nickname in college. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, <that's> okay, same. <laughs> uh, which lets me put storage counters on it to make more mana later in the game if I'm not doing anything else. Um, and we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six mana, which is the amount of mana that Rakdos costs. I just uh -oh. want to point mm. that out, everybody. Oh, boy. Um, and I think Rakdos wants to come to play. <gasps> Okay, Come on, buddy. He's beautiful. Have you seen him? <laughs> really a beautiful art there. Have, have you seen him? He's so beautiful. It's 6 6 flying trample. He's a flampler. At the beginning of your end step, target opponent may sacrifice two non land target per non token permanents. If they don't, I draw two cards. What a deal. Oh boy. Do you know the way to be able to deal with a demon is to know its true name? His name's Rakdos. <laughs> Okay. All right, get him off you the know, battles. You know, you <laughs> uh, know. And we'll go to combat. Once again, I'm very scared of everything that's occurring. But I do have Rakdos <laughs> now. should be. So I'm going to attack Nels again for three. Oh, yes. <laughs> I am the threat. Well, I mean, you look at this bridge. Yeah. I'm very scared of that bridge. You should yeah. be, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Now I'm going to move to the beginning of my end step. A target opponent may sacrifice two non-land, non-token non permanent. Don't I draw two cards? I'm going to just say you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let you draw the cards. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Good wow. Ball. Would you remember this? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. So, uh, on your end step, I'm going to exile a green card from my hand and play Force of Vigor. Mm. Since I did that, I can uh, destroy up to two target artifacts and or enchantments. So I'm going to get rid of uh, the prismatic bridge. <laughs> and I'm so sorry, but my this mirror. mirror. That haunted mirror. It's just too scary. Go. My haunted mirror. <laughs> OK, I will move Whew. to my turn now. All right, what Aaron, my soul ring? doing the good work. <laughs> <laughs> I will draw. I am going to play another forest. And I'm going to pay five to bring out my commander, Greensleeves Narrow Sorcerer. She has protection from planeswalkers and from wizards. Hasn't really come in handy very much, um, but her power and toughness are equal to the number of lands I control. And then whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I create a 3-3 green badger creature <gasps> token. So lands, badger. badgers, badgers, everything you could want in life. Oh my goodness. Oh, why and, don't I get started on a badger for you? Yeah. You know, just for the future. Just, yeah, just, for, to, just for the future. It'll happen. And I will pass. Uh, well, normally during my upkeep, I would have done cool things, but <laughs> not the case so much anymore. I'll draw for turn. Badgers. Badgers. What does a badger look like? Wow. I'll, I'm going to take a guess. What a question. Uh, I am, first of all, casting Farika, God of Affliction. Ooh. Uh, it's an enchantment creature. 5-5 five, five indestructible as long as my devotion to black and green is less than 7. It isn't a creature, which it isn't right now. Um, and for black and green, I can exile target creature card from a graveyard, and its owner puts a 1-1 one, one black and green snake enchantment creature token with death touch onto the battlefield. Cute. So since it's not a creature, I'm just going to like turn it yeah. upside down because it's an enchantment that does that, but not a creature. Um, and then I'm also playing Sisse, Weatherlight Captain. Wow. Mm -hmm. Two, two. Um, it gets plus one, plus one for each color among other legendary permanents I control, which would be, this is legendary, so yeah. two, so it's four, four right now. And I can pay Wooberg, and I can search my library for a legendary permanent card with converted mana cost less than Cissé's power and put it on the battlefield. Wow. Do you know what? We haven't really had Wooberg running around out here no, in our games yet, and I... I'm intimidated. This is, this is a very, very Wooberg deck. Would you name a child Wooberg? No! <laughs> Maybe middle name. What kind of question is that? It just sounded like a cool name for a second. Uh, and I am going to pass the turn. For a second is the operative turn. Yeah, I quickly <laughs> realized second. my mistake. All right, let's see here. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. I like this card. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tap three mana uh, to put down a morph. Land. <laughs> that would be illegal. <laughs> Deeply illegal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay three mana yeah, and just cheats. big time big cheat. Cheats. <laughs> um, yeah. And then at the beginning uh, of combat, I am going to put just another creature cloaked from my hand face down. Everybody's so spooky. They're all face down. Um, and then I, let's see, that's a big creature. Yeah. Those are big creatures. 
That's really too bad for me. I guess I will pass the turn to Maria. All right. Demons rise up. This one morph. This one cloak. Ooh. Wait, so you need a cloak and a morph? Yeah. I'm going to play Westvale Abbey for my land drop for the turn. I love this card mm-hmm. um, because right. it adds colorless. Or I can uh, tap it for five and pay a life to put a 1-1 one, one white and black cool. human cleric creature t- token onto the battlefield. Or I can pay five and tap it to sacrifice five creatures and then transform it to a giant 9-7 demon, which is pretty yes. sick. Um, I also have seven mana. And because I have seven mana, I've got a lot of big demons in this deck, which is very fun. Oh, boy. And I'm going to cast them. (laughs) That's what I do. Uh, I have Overseer of the Damned coming into play. This is a 5-5 flyer. When it enters the battlefield, you may destroy target creature. Um, And I think I will. I may and I will. Um, I really, this, uh, what do you all think is the biggest threat right now? Make your case. You. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, why not I just tear your Rakdos? I destroy you. I dare you to destroy your own Rakdos. Wow. I, I, if I'm a demon, I feel like I gotta take that dare. Um, Nels, who do you think? What do you think I should destroy? Uh, Megan's got a lot of stuff going. All I've, right. Do you, I yeah, accept I, I agree. You, okay. I what think I'm you? gonna take out Vanifar. Okay. That I accept that. Yeah. She's she's dead. And whenever a non-token creature in opponent controls dies, I make a two-two black zombie creature token. Oh, all right. So, hand me them. Hand me them go. tokens. Uh, so I'm gonna get a two-two demon, and now I can attack if I wish. Two zomb. Um, I think I will attack again, as it is the way of the way of the demon boys. Flying trampler is pretty fun. Gosh, I hate all those three threes on Megan's side, though. She she she. Um, don't like it. I'm just gonna attack for three in the air. I'll I'll attack Megan for three flying. Oh, you wanna attack me for three flying? It's just three. Well, I'm going to go ahead and turn this Ice Feather Aven face what? up. Oh. It wasn't a land! <laughs> it's not a land. <laughs> it's not a land at all! It is a 3-3 flyer. I'm also going to bounce your Rakdos to oh your hand. Oh my gosh. Unreal! And then my 3-3 three three is going to block your 3-3. Three three. You got it. All right. Yeah. Plague drone down. That's called yeah. Rakdos. <laughs> I just got retributed hard. Yeah, you did. Hey, do you know what? Oh, it's a really satisfying retribution. <laughs> uh, that's my turn. Go ahead. Okay. I don't have anything to do on someone's end still anymore. <laughs> I will draw. Oh, uh, I was making a zombie for Maria. Oh, yeah. Let's see. We're going to play a forest. So when that forest comes in, I will make a 3-3 three, three badger. Badger. Is that, this what they look like? I mean, yeah. Or is this a raccoon badger. that I've drawn? Related, that's, I think. They both have little masks. Yeah. That's you know like what? something that's mother and father was a raccoon and a badger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and it's their child. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take that. So that badger comes in and then I'm going to pay six uh, for rampaging Baylos. So it has trample, and then whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I may create a 4-4 green beast creature token, and it's a 6-6. Six, six. Uh-oh. So I have six lands right now. Uh, green Sleeves is a 6-6, six, six, but I think I'm just going to leave her up for blocking. And All I'll right. Pass. All right. like that zombie. <laughs> it's a great zombie. It's his brains. You yeah, know, great you see zombie. his brains out. Uh, so let's say green, red, blue, white... Uh, black. This this Wooberg here, yeah, right? There's yeah. Wooberg. Okay, yeah. right, we all agree. There's Wooberg. Okay. Wooberg here. <laughs> um, so I'm tapping for for seven here. Recast my commander and champion. Stop it now! <laughs> it's literally the only thing my deck does. <laughs> all right. It's the whole point of the deck. All right. Fair enough. Um. Nope. Okay. I'm trying to see if I have something that can fix this, but I don't think so. Oh. I think I'm going to also just hold off for now. I will pass the turn. All right. <laughs> you know, I was just checking in on who all of my face down friends are. They're all a mystery. Uh, okay. Okay, the first, I think what I'm going to do here is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Turn this up, um, which I can do for its regular cost because it was cloaked and not just morphed. Uh, when it's turned face up, each opponent skips their next untap step. Ha. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. What? 
Uh, you skip your own test. Like even my lands? Yes, buddy, the whole thing. Oh no. Top to bottom. No. Do yes. I have not do that? No. <laughs> okay. Thank you for asking, no. Mel. I, I, would, I would hate myself if I didn't ask. I really appreciate you asking. <laughs> God, that's I really appreciate rude. you making sure. That's so you have looks. a five five demon, and I have this five four. Uh, so Maria, I'm going to attack you for five with this five four. Unbelievable. Um, no, I'm not blocking you. All right, I'll take five. Go ahead. Oh, oh god. god. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Uh, okay, I'll play a land. Uh, let's play a secluded courtyard which um, I'm choosing demon as its creature type again. <laughs> uh, what? It's great, it's pretty great. So it can tap for any color, but that's really not relevant in my deck too much. Um, I don't have anything I can play for one mana. <sighs> you just <laughs> fived me <laughs> with that stupid thing. I will, was out. Oh. I'm just gonna sit here, I'm gonna pass. Okay. All right, up, up. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> Both still on tap. I will draw. <laughs> I am going to play a Broker's Hideout. So when it enters the battlefield, I have to sacrifice it right away. And then when I do, I search for a basic Forest Plains Island. Surprise, it's a forest. Put it onto the battlefield tapped and shuffle and I gain one life. So I'm gonna sack this right away, but I do make another badger. You make two badgers, and, right? Because- uh, Yeah, I'll make two badgers yeah, yeah. Uh, when the forest comes in. So- And you also and make two Baylocks? Two beasts, yeah. Oh, oh two bait beasts. My God. All right, okay. well. I just want to remind everyone of when I was told I was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> just want to remind people Blame when that happened. <laughs> oh, badger, the honey badger. Just hanging out in the forest, yeah, nothing is, bad. Isn't he cute? He's a honey badger. Is that what badgers do? I was trying to... What, I was kinda, what do you mean? What do you mean do? Can you, go, can you define what he's doing? That you wonder if it is the badgers do? I was just like, do badgers, is their job eating? It's their job. Is it is it wood related? Um, is their job? Is either? it a hole related? Like they're going to holes a lot? Is are, what are they you talking? About? <laughs> wood related? Hole related? <laughs> yeah, like a beaver's job is wood related. A rabbit's job is hole related. <laughs> what is a badger's job? I don't know if we all have the same understanding of the word job that oh you do. <laughs> I mean, their career, a holes. Also. I take issue with you saying that a beaver's job is wood related. I think a beaver's do job is water related. True. Oh, uh, sure. What that's that's tool? a fair point. Yes. What is its tool? Yeah. Great. Well, to answer my question. What is a badger's tool? What is a badger's tool? It's teeth. Yeah. Chewy. Teeth. They're they're pretty aggressive, I'd say. All right. Here's a badger's four, tool four, four. is aggression. Is that Kermit the Frog? <laughs> yeah. It's Kermit the Frog. If he was part of a really horrific science experiment. <laughs> I'll make you another one. Oh my god. Oh, all right, you have okay. some creatures. You can do some attacking so if you so wish. I can do some attacking. Uh, I don't like that elemental, so I think, and you're also sitting at the most life, so okay. I'm gonna swing. That's fine. This. Let me tell you. Let's see. I will have, be blocking. It's a seven, seven. Hmm. Well, I can recast green sleeves if I need oh, okay. to, so I'm gonna you attack know what? you for seven. I'll, I'll take seven. Okay. And that is commander damage. Oh, that's right. Okay, I will also mark it as commander damage. Great point. Here's your other beast. It's wearing a necklace just Fabulous. like you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Miss Piggy, like after yeah. an horrible experiment. Yeah, oh, wow. <laughs> reaching for Kirby. Wow. My uh, tokens are so Muppet related. Not a, not a surprise to anyone. Oh my gosh. And I will pass. <clears throat> All right, I will untap nothing. Uh, and I will- It hurts, doesn't it? Go to my upkeep phase where the prismatic bridge will trigger. So I'm gonna What's reveal cards until I reveal a creature. There's no planeswalkers on this deck, so just creature. So we have a swamp. We have Elvish Piper. Oh! So get an Elvish Piper, and the swamp will go in the bottom of my library. What does this Elvish Piper do? Elvish Piper is a 1-1, one, one, and for green, I can tap it, and I can put a creature card from my hand onto the battlefield. Sick. Okay. You're just doing everything the cheaty way at this deck. That's what I do, yes. <laughs> Um, and I don't have any mana to do anything. Um, so I am going to just sit tight and I will pass my turn. All right, I'm going to un- I'm gonna untap. Why don't you break about it? I will. Must be nice. Um, all right, I'm gonna play this Tomb of the Spirit Dragon, which is nice because I can either tap it to add one colorless, but I can also pay two and tap to gain one life for each colorless creature I control. 
I'm going to play this creature face down. Don't worry about it. One, two, One. three. It's a morph. It's a morph. That would be illegal. <laughs> um, oh no, sorry. I need another morph. I have, cl I have extra cloaks, but oh no more gosh. morphs. There's so many morphs. I know. Uh, yeah, I'm moving there. You have all these three, three badgers. You have this five, five demon. Well, do you let, I can attack past that five, five, or I can, you know, I can threaten you with this five, four. Yeah, I attack you, you with this five, four. I I'll take it again. All right. 30. Go ahead. Uh, I'm going to try and remember what all my morphs are. Untapping feels so good. Ooh, that's a good card. I remember who this is. I'll play okay. Swamp for the turn. I'm going to play a Burning Rune Demon. <laughs> no. <laughs> Norf. Horrifying. Uh, I'm playing a Burning Rune Demon. This is a 6-6 six, six Flyer. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I can search my library for exactly two cards not named Burning Rune Demon with different names. And if I do, I reveal them, and an opponent chooses one of them. Uh, put the co chosen card in your hand and the other into the graveyard. So I'm about to find out what's the most important thing for me to have in this deck right now. So, all right. Um, well, I'm going to probably do this while other things are happening so that I don't take up all the time in the world. Um, you know what? It's always a good time to remind yourself of what your morphs are. Yeah, oh, looks or half. Okay, I that's think those interesting. will be sufficient, but... Okay, I remember that one. I wasn't prepared for this to be uh, okay. a showcase of how awful my art skills are. Oh, that's every episode of this <laughs> show is a chance to show how bad your art <laughs> skills are. <laughs> Commander Arcade, how bad do you draw? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I should note that my god now is a creature. Oh, okay. I'm at the devotion, so... Cool. Nice. Just FYI. So I've found two cards. Okay. And who here wants to help me the most out of everybody? I Do you know don't what? think it's, I don't know. I want to help you. I don't know though. All Trust of you, me. All of you have some bad stuff going on. I gave you two cards at the beginning Thank of the you. game. That's Thank true. you. Um, I feel like I want Nels to make this decision. Okay. So Nels, do you want me to have the bringer of the last gift or the Archfiend of Depravity. Oh my wow. god. Oh my gosh. Gee, those are some heavy names. Some real names. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, when Bayer last gets to the battlefield, if you cast it, each player sacrifices all other creatures they control. That sucks. Yep. Uh, at the beginning of each opponent's end step, that player chooses up to two creatures. Like, oh, these, I don't like either one of these. <laughs> well, each player. Well, here we are. Well. Oh my god. <laughs> well, there we go. That's Nels' answer. Oh my god. <laughs> the true demon choice. Oh no, I don't want to be the person who makes this choice. Do you know what? Um, we all understand. Aaron and I understand that you yeah. have been given a no-win situation. And this, always, this happens every turn. Up to two creatures they control. Uh, let's, let's, just, let's just clear the board. Let's let's do. Why? You're gonna uh, yeah. Bring okay. her the last gift. All that's right. rude, but all right. Okay. Thank you. I mean, I see this and I see this. Yeah. And, yeah, that's true. All right. And it's sacrifice, right? Yes. Yes. But also, everything that was in your graveyard gets to come back. So if you attack wow. me, I'll make some blocks and we can sort it out from there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I have three mana left of which I cannot use, so I'm um, I'm not gonna attack. I'll just pass. Okay. You're off. Um. Play another forest, so I will make another badger. Marker, marker me. Thank you. <laughs> it's probably not long for this world. So but... you said chewing's their deal? Yeah. Oh. I think we're guessing that chewing is their deal. I'll endeavor to draw that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, I am going to play five or a five for unnatural growth. So at the beginning of each combat, I double the power and toughness of each creature I control until the end of turn. Well, what? Okay. <laughs> that sucks. And they're going to die anyway, right? <laughs> That's true. That sucks. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. I I'm just trying to help us all get yes. our graveyards nice and full. Agree. Okay. So, hmm. Nels, I will attack you with a badger, a beast, and a bailoth. And then, Megan, I'll attack you with a beast, a badger, and green sleeves. All right. Does anybody have trample? Uh, no one has trample. Well, that's or nice. Actually, I'm sorry. The rampaging the, Baylos. The Baylos have trample, but yep. everyone else is just yep. a polite little... Yeah. You they're know, just doing early. their thing. All right. Well, what are we doing? So, the badgers are going to be six sixes, and the beasts are going to be eight eights. Uh, okay. Green sleeves is one, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight. So she's a 16, 16, 
and the Velos are 12 12. Wow, no big Yikes. deal. World what? chill. What? <laughs> <Still alive. laughs> what? Uh, here's okay. your. Wait, hold Let's on. Let's get out of control. Before, before comment, I'm just going to okay. give you the other badger that. I, the, this is the, it's, he's more frog like than uh, badger like, but he's, he's, a frog. he's eating frog flies. That's, that's a frog. That's his job. He's that's chewing. Frog. He's chewing. Anyway. What's his job? Frog? Yeah. Okay, I'm yeah, going to. Like I'm going to uncloak this, which uh, is this flourishing bloom cane. I can search my library for up to two forest cards and reveal them. Put one onto the battlefield, tap and the other into my hand. I just want forest. And you so get, it gets plus one, plus one yes. for each forest. So, okay, so there's one onto the battlefield, tapped. The one into my hand. Um, and then I will block the flourishing bloomkin on one of the, I'm like a beast. Okay. And then I will block this, I'll block this north on, <laughs> on <laughs> green sleeve. Okay. Uh, this is blocking a badger. And then, uh, sure. Wait, sorry, everybody. <laughs> and then this cloaked card will block another one of them. So I'm okay. blocking all three. Okay, cool. Yes, Nels? I, I'm, I'm part of this too, huh? Um, yeah, you're being attacked. <laughs> All right, so what is coming at me? So the Baylos uh, will go. And that's trample, and that's like a million million. It's blocked. It's a 12-12. Yep. Um, I'll block the Beast with the Weaver Harmony. I'll bo- block the Badger with the Elvish Piper. I'll block with these two then. So she's 7-7, seven, seven, and he's 6-6. Six, six. Okay. So that's, <laughs> that's nothing. Nothing, yeah. Okay. So All right, yeah. He does, I also he's make three indestructible. blocks. Indestructible. So he stays. Well, you're making my card way less cool. <laughs> These dumb dumbs all die. I'm just showing you all what my face down creatures were. Oh, which yeah. is a Brute Hatch Nantuko, uh, which when it's dealt damage, I make that one, many 1 1 insects. And a Death Mist Raptor, which is a 3 3 Death Touch Boy. Um, and when I can, when I turn a permanent face up, I can return it from my graveyard to the battlefield, face up or face down. So you know that's fun. Uh, so how many things that weren't a token died this turn? One, three. two, three. I have one. So four, seven? five, six, seven. You make seven zombies. Seven zombies. All right. <laughs> well, they're not going to be around for long. I just want you to know. So maybe okay. just give me a die because they're going to die if I cast my demon. But... Okay. Well, here then we'll just give you like you have eight zombies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that was my turn. I'll pass. Oh my gosh. All right. What a turn. <laughs> that was a turn. Blood sport. That was a lot of. That's a Jean Claude Van Damme movie. Sure is. The Kumite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Don't get me started. Okay. Uh, Prismatic Bridge Time. Uh, Ooh, spin that wheel. Spins. Spin. Wrath of God. Oh, that oh, would have been yeah. good. Dragon Arch. Got on my coast. Mountain. How is the wow. Maelstrom Archangel. There we go. What? Well, what the heck is that thing? It is 5-5 five, five flying, and when it deals combat damage to a player, I can cast a spell from my hand without paying for it. All right. Okay, then. Interesting. And they're Wooberg, so that helps with my devotion. Um, then I'll draw for turn. I'll throw down a Lanoir Waste. And I'm going to cast Curator's Ward on my Prismatic Bridge. It's an enchantment. Enchantment permanent. Enchanted permanent has hexproof. Sick. Um, and when it leaves the battlefield, when this, when the permanent leaves the battlefield, I can, if it's historic, which it is, I can draw two cards. All right. Oh, um, the museum is not letting us touch the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to cast Fertile Ground on my Path of Ancestry, so I can tap it. When it's tapped for a color, I can tap. It gets an extra color. All right. Uh, and let's. Do a turn pass. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> okay. Do I want to turn anyone face up? Do you know what? I am going to go ahead and uh, turn these dulcet sirens face up. Um, I can pay blue and tap target creature attacks target opponent this turn if able. I maybe should have made you attack somebody, but I didn't. All right. Let's untap. All we have, the only mystery left over here is Morph. 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 You only have a 3 3 over there, but it becomes a 6 6 on every combat, right? Yes. Does it happen every combat? Yep. That's absurd. I'm beginning to learn that enchantments are something yeah. you need to be prepared to deal with in your command. Also, Death Miss Raptor, I can return it to the battlefield uh, face up or face down. I'm going to turn it face down when I turn this face up. What um, could it be? What could it be? And then I am going to go ahead and I will, because it 
happened at the end of Nels' turn, what is when it came back, so it does not summon a sick. You know, Aaron, I'll just attack you with this very non-suspicious tutu. Um, I will take two. It's just a tutu. All right, just take two. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then, Maria, I will pass the turn to you. At the end of your turn, I'm going to put a slag counter. No, it's a storage counter on Molten <laughs> Slag Heap. I like slag <laughs> counter. <laughs> slag counter. <laughs> Thank you. I'll store some slag for later. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when you're going to need gonna, it. Where? How do you store slag? <laughs> I guess I have a lot of... don't you store it, honestly. I guess I have a lot of questions about slag storage. Sounds kind of diseasy. (laughs) Oh, God, yeah, it does. I'm going to play a swamp for the turn, uh, and then we're going to do some combating because uh, things can start to get weird. (laughs) All right. Actually, yeah, at the start of combat, I am going to pay blue and tap this and make uh, make Burning Room Demon attack Nels. Ooh, okay. So that it specifically cannot attack me. That's fine. I'm going to attack Nels then with Burning Rune Demon. I'll attack you, Megan, with Overseer of the Damned. And I'll attack uh, Aaron with all of my 2-2 zombies. Okay. I will block one of them, and I will take 14. Yeah. yeah. I will take five. Holy moly. Uh, what is attacking me? The 6-6. Six, six. Just 6-6? Six, six? Yeah. I will block with my indestructible god. Okay. Wait, it's flying. It's flying. I will not block with <laughs> Um, six six flying. That's right. Oh man, why did I agree to play this game? <laughs> Sell all Do you your know cards. What? Of everything that has happened, this is <laughs> this is what has gone too far. I am, I am now finished with this. One six six demon under no circumstances. <laughs> That's the best thing about playing Magic is your ability to be offended immediately and severely. <laughs> all right, I'm going to tap eight. Let's see what happens. Play bl- bringer of the last gift. I, all uh, right. Flying 6-6. Six, six. Um, when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, each player sacrifices all other creatures. They control them, return the stuff from the graveyard, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm going to, in response, do a tap for black and green, and I'm going to exile your Baylock. Okay. From your graveyard. Well, that That's smart. Sense. So you yeah. get a 1-1 one, one black and green snake enchantment creature token with death touch. But okay. it's going to die oh, immediately. Oh, okay, yeah. That's so great. everyone tell Maria how many non-token creatures die. Yes. One, two. Okay, I've got one die. Three. Three. Four. And these are all sacrifice, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, because Overseer of the Damned is in play, I'm going to make a million zombs. Whatever creatures are currently in your graveyard, come you back. Oh, that happens right now? Yep. Yeah. Okay, yep. okay. So these are resurrected. I'm resurrecting my Archfiend of Depravity. Thanks, Nels. And a Plague Drone. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, Do you know what? That's actually pretty sick. We yeah. did that in such a way that she got both of them. <laughs> Nels, what did we do? <laughs> Uh, what did you do? No, I like we. I like we better. I like we better. <laughs> Demon life. Demon <laughs> life. Oh my god! It worked out. It worked out fine. Um, okay, so yeah, that's the end of my turn. Uh, at the beginning of each player's end step, the player that player chooses up to two target creatures he or she controls and sacrifices the rest. Oh wait, that also counts you. So. Yes. So I have to now do my own archfiend situation. So these zombies like. It would have been super sick. Yeah, but there you have to sacrifice them all. Yeah, basically. I well, can only pick two, two things, things to keep. I'll keep my two big boys. Um, I'm done, I guess. Okay. Go ahead. I will untap. I feel like I could have done things to make that way cooler, and instead it was like only marginally cool for me. Hmm. You know, I think that's okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like I need to get green sleeves back out. So I have one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll pay seven, cost two extra. Bring her out, uh, and then I will play a Blighted Woodland for turn. So I'm making a badger, but I just realized, like, I'm gonna have to probably sacrifice it. Um, That's true. Poor guy. I know, with like 80. Uh, I think that's all I'm gonna do for right now. Or actually, what I can do is sack Steve, yeah. get a land. Just get another badger. And then I make another badger. One of them will have to die, but that's okay. <laughs> that's the badger way of life, man. <laughs> the badger's new job. What's the new job? job? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. Messed job. up to be a badger. <laughs> and this, this Archfiend's, sorry, the flavor text is, why would I kill you all who then would be left to worship me? It's pretty sick. It's the most, <laughs> most Maria thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Excellent. And I will pass. All right. I'm going to untap stuff 
And <clears throat> during my upkeep, I'm going to pay one green and tap the Weaver of Harmony, and I'm going to oh. copy the trigger of the Prismatic Bridge. No. All right. So okay. This, happens this is twice. fine. I feel pretty fine about this. So we'll do Strionic Resonator, Ether Lyle, Dryad of the Elysian Grove. That's not too bad. Not helpful right now, though. <laughs> Um, and then, again, Monster Manual, Genesis Gift, Ash Barons, Fey Barrow Elder. These are kind of weird. Oh, that's pretty sick. So, that's my upkeep, and then I'll draw. <laughs> oh, that's well, the upkeep. Oh, wait, yeah. the turn hasn't okay. even really started yet. Play a Plains, um, and I'm going to tap green, and I'll tap the Elvish Piper to put out the Sixth Doctor which is a 3-3 three, three creature, and whenever I cast a historic spell, copy it, except the copy isn't legendary. Well, okay. Wow. I thought I cleared okay. the board here. Uh, how's that looking? Nah, it's not looking so hot. All um, right, not gonna and lie. And I'm going to do uh, Wooberg. One, two, three, four, eight, five. I'm gonna activate Sisse. So for, I can go find a creature whose converted mana cost is less than her power, which is seven, so six or less, and put it into the battlefield. Oh. All right, well, at least it won't get copied because it's not being cast. Right, exactly. That's a silver lining, you guys. There we go. <laughs> That's a really, things are going to be fine specifically because of that. Feels so much better. I, right, don't you feel, don't you feel a lot better? <laughs> I feel like things are like pretty normal now. What do you think is the most problematic of Nels' creatures currently? All of them. How about all, is uh, uh, all of them a... Uh, Probably the Sisse. 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 Yeah. Sisse. Okay. Yenna, Red Tooth Regent. Well, now it's that. Now it is. <laughs> <laughs> she is 4 4, and for two colorless and tapper, I can choose an enchantment I control that doesn't have the same name as another permanent I control and create a token of copy of it that's not legendary. Well, so you're going to start copying Prismatic Bridge and do you can just make more bridges. I can make one more bridge because one, I can't do something that there already is a copy of. So essentially, oh, any, okay. any enchantment, any legendary enchantment I have, I can make two of them, but yeah. no more than two. Wow, no more than two. Well, now I feel fine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's not really not that big of a deal. <laughs> not, not a big deal. But I'm going to pass the turn, because I only have one thing to attack with. And All right, I'm going to draw. Wait, not. Uh, uh, okay, you got to sacrifice. Oh, that's right. Oh, my goodness. I have to sacrifice. All but two. All but two. Oh. All right. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's up to two, so you could, you know, just you could have only picked one. It's fine if you want to. You could pick none of your permanents if you felt like that. How does it feel? Yeah, awful for you. Oh, all right. Okay, now I'm dry. Do you know what? I will uh, play a creature of all things. I know this is going to be really surprising to you all. It's going to be face down. What? I know. It is a. More, it's North. North. North's back. North is back. Love you, North. <laughs> North is here. North is like, what's up? Um, and do you know what? I noticed that none of your things have um, flying or reach nels. This so is true. I'm going to attack you for two with this ice feather, Aven. Oh my gosh. Because I think you're the problem. Really? I only have two creatures, and she's board wiping every turn. That's. You don't have flying. But look, you oh, need me exactly. to keep Nels in check. Yeah. If you yeah. kill me, this is going to, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, and then I'm actually going to, before my, uh, you know, during my turn, I'm going to turn this um, face up. Because when it's turned face up, I can return target creature to its owner's hand. Uh, and what I want to return to my hand is actually my own creature. I think actually this ice feather, Aven. Mr. Bouncy? Mr. Bouncy himself. <laughs> Mr. Bouncy House? Mr. Bouncy. Uh, and then I will go ahead and go to my end step and only sacrifice one person, uh, which is this Flourishing Bloomkin. Oh, wait, I forgot that this Death Miss Raptor will trigger and come back face down, but I'm also sacrificing it, so it's going back to the graveyard. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> kind of want to kill Sisse. What do you think, everybody? I think that seems like a really reasonable proposition. Yeah, I support this. Terminate, Sisse, get out of here. I don't like that. Bye. Girl, bye. Uh, okay. All right, demons, let's party. I'll play a mountain for my turn. That's what I say every Friday, you know. <laughs> <laughs> to all of your inner demons. Let's be self-destructive. And me, every time I roll a two in the club. <laughs> all right, demons, let's party. <laughs> With your glass of port. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, that would be that's very Edgar Allan Poe of me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Honestly, yeah. if I walked into a party with a glass of port and said, 
What's up, demons? Let's party. <laughs> I'm going to play Black Market, uh, oh. which is a very fun enchantment uh, that says whenever a creature dies, put a charge counter on it. At the beginning of my pre combat main phase, I get a black for each charge counter on Black Market. Do you see the combo I've assembled? Oh, boy. It's pretty sick. Do I ever? It's cheddar cheese pretzel. Um, and. <laughs> <laughs> What? I, what does that mean? It's a combo flavor. Combo. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> he was a program now. Have you ever been on a road trip? <laughs> uh, yeah. Then I'm going to attack, because that's what we do. Um, although, Green Sleeves is getting a little scary, though. I'm not going to lie. Things are 2020. Yeah, don't lie about that. Just a 2020. Yuck. And I can't play more than two creatures, or else my whole thing is just going to stop. If you don't start attacking people, I'm going to start attacking you. <laughs> what about the 2020? I don't know. It's not my problem. Well, it might, it might be. be. It might be. It might be everybody's well, problem. Well, okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's not my problem right now because it's not Aaron's turn. <laughs> That's true. That's so magic. I mean, like, it's not my problem this second. This at this Maybe. particular moment in time. Okay, I'm gonna actually tap a little bit smarter. I think because tap smarter, not harder. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna leave Westvale Abbey up. Actually, I think that's gonna be something I'm going to need. So I'm gonna do six to somebody. Um, somebody's taking a hot, well, I'll do five. Someone's taking a hot five. Um, who's taking a hot five though? Mm, Aaron, I think you're gonna take okay. a high five. I will take that <laughs> hot five. Ouch. <laughs> and then I uh, shall end yeah, one more. my turn. Go ahead. Okay. I will untap. I just I want that demon to go away. Yeah. That's rude. I'm just saying, it's making things a lot easier for our viewers. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these nice, clean boards. Yeah. I know, it's easy got. to understand. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, let's see. We'll do four for Oracle of Moldiah, so I can play an additional oh. land on each of my turns. Love her. I play with the top card of my library revealed, oh, and I can play her. lands from the top of my library. He likes uh, Lancer. Er, the yeah. top card revealed too. It's hard for me not to just, you know, target you for making me kill my baby badgers. So yeah, oh, they're baby. <laughs> well, Maria, you hear that? You hear that? Good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so friendly. Well, this guy's gonna die anyway, so I'm just gonna send the six six badger at Maria. All right, I'm gonna make a a one one uh, cleric. Oh, okay. With Westvale Abbey to block. You do pay one life. Boink. <laughs> I did, did one point of damage. I did it. You did it. Keeping me honest. We got there, everybody. Okay, and uh, I will just pass and sack this badger. It barely had time to live, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't yet know the sweetness of life, so is it more of a mercy? <laughs> What? <laughs> we say some pretty messed up things wow. on this show. Yeah. Like, like, honestly, last episode, Rob was talking about how, like, killing dogs for science was like... Oh, my God! You remember that? <laughs> yes. Anyway, to be fair... It's a hot take. It was not his real take. I want to well, be clear, it was not Rob's real take. You're sh sure? You don't know that. Sorry, Nels. You uh, want to take your turn? Well, you got to take a shower now. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> all right, so my upkeep, uh, Prismatic Bridge, will trigger... Prismatic Bridge. We've got Path to Exile. Sure could use that right now. <laughs> um, Aethrios, 4-7 uh, enchantment creature, indestructible. And its devotion to white and black is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so it's not a creature right now. Um, at the beginning of my end step, I put a coin counter on a target creature, and when a creature with a coin counter dies or is put into exile, I return it to the battlefield under my control. All right. And I will draw for turn. That seems relevant. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to activate Yenna Red Tooth Regent. I'm going to tap her, and I'm going to copy my Prismatic Bridge. All right, Maria, will you yeah. uh... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, you draw it. Yeah. My bad. Uh, so that will happen. So I have two Prismatic Bridges. And I'm also going to cast Joda the Unifier. Wow. He is 5-5, five, five, and legendary creatures I control get plus X, plus X, where X is the number of legendary creatures I control. And when I cast a legendary spell from my hand, I exile cards to the top of the library until I exile a legendary non-land card with lesser mana of value and put it onto the battlefield. I can pay it, cast it without paying the uh, mana cards. Well, 
I think that's all you can say. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'll put a I'll put a counter on Jodo, sacrifice uh -huh. Jodo, and then bring it back. All right, that's pretty handy. I'm gonna give you your bridge, which I've made, which is a Star Trek bridge. <laughs> there they all are. That's beautiful. You'll notice um, Picard is bald, Riker's doing a weird dance, uh, Data's not having any emotion, um, and also I screwed up on Worf, so he looks really weird. Is it Worf? <laughs> yeah, because he was supposed to be, I was drawing it Worf and I drew a smiley face, but then I had to change it to a frowny face because oh, he yeah. wouldn't be smiling. Yeah. And that really, he looks, I'm sorry, he looks like a potato. <laughs> he does, do you know what I was going to say? He looks like a potato. <laughs> That's probably why he's look at, frowning. Look at all of Troy's hair, though. <laughs> yeah, she, she looks, really has she all looks her great. hair. It's got great volume. Looking today. good. Wow. Oh, I'm gonna play a card that I really love, you guys. Um, I'm going to play this Whisperwood Elemental. At the beginning of your end step, manifest to the top card of your library, uh, and then I can sacrifice it until end of turn. Face up non-token creatures you control gain when this creature dies. Manifest to the top card of your library, and then I will. Uh, not attack anyone with anything because that's not happening. Um, and then when all of when everything happens at the end, I will sacrifice this and then I will manifest this and I will pass the turn to you. Okay. Interesting. Has anything died since I was uh, having my turn? Uh, I think Joda. Joda, Joda? was sacrificed. Yes, yeah. yeah Joda okay, died. so can and then this guy died also. So you have two. Two counters on black market. Here Thank you. I'm really keeping track of things over Will here. Will you make me a, um, this one's Manifest. Manifest. It's also a 2-2. Two -two. So that's not Morph or Cloaked? Exactly, oh no. Oh my gosh. It is a third kind of thing. This is testing my ability. You know, Archfiend is really kind of hampering me as well as all of you, well, I good. have to say. Frankly, good. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, okay. Fine. Um, okay, let's do, let's, let's do an attack time. Um, I want to attack Nels now because once again, Nels is is fragrantly flouting my Archfiend of Depravity. Fragrantly? <laughs> oh. <laughs> flagrantly flouting, <laughs> but also fragrantly flouting. <laughs> uh, I'll attack you, Nels, for six flying damage. Boo. Six flying damage is not a thing I can do anything about, so I'll take six. Okay. Um, and what do I want to do though? Because I have cards I want to play and I can't kind of can't play them. It's sort of sad. I'll play a myriad landscape taft. Um, and I guess I'll just pass the turn. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to pay two and sack my myriad landscape uh, so that I can get around summoning sickness. And I will look for two basic land cards that share a land type, put them onto the battlefield, tap and shuffle. And you get two get badgers. Two badgers. They're back. Okay, let's start out by to pay six for Nissa, who shakes the world. Wow. Uh, All so right. whenever I tap a forest for mana, I add an additional green. Uh, and then I can put three plus one plus one counters on up to one target non-creature land, and then it becomes an elemental creature with vigilance and haste that's still a land. So she'll go up to six, and then we'll turn this forest. I will need another die. Oh, yeah, there you go. Plus one, plus one counters on it. Perfect. And... Sorry, I'm gonna move it over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The danger zone. Okay. Then we'll play a Nyxos Shrine to Nyx for my land zone. for turn. So I'm gonna make another badger. Here we go with Frog Badger. <laughs> <laughs> and I can play an additional land on each of my turns. I don't have one. So I'm just gonna move to combat here. So they each are six, six badgers. So Maria, I'm gonna attack you with two six, six badgers. Uh, Chill. Very cool. Fine. <laughs> no. Great. Megan, I'll attack you with this um, six, six, Forest. Yep, I'm I'm and really chill. Nels, <laughs> I'll attack you. I think she's at 22 now. Trample. Four or five. Uh, no trample. <laughs> yep, she's still just barely without trample. Well, Nels, do you want to die this? Yep, uh, 22. <laughs> it's 22. Uh, that, that, that's... Commander. 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 Super Commander I'll, I'll block with my Indestructible God. Okay, Okay. Perfect. I will block with this Brood Hatch Nantuko. 
Uh, whenever it's dealt damage, I may create that many 1-1 one, one green insect creature tokens. So I will make six insects from this situation. I helped. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy to have them. Um, I'll block with a human that I'm going to make from Westville Abbey. One of the six sixes. Mm-hmm. So I'll take six. All right. Um, Maria, you have to make me bug. Oh, okay. Wait, I need five mana. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll move to my end step and I will get rid of all these guys. Sadly, my forest has to go to the graveyard too. Also for us with, oh, you all had one more forest. So that's a 24, 24. Oh yeah, I didn't even <laughs> think about that. Okay, uh, I will pass. It's a big, big. <laughs> oh boy, okay. At uh, a certain point, you just don't even need to exactly. count. Exactly. On the tap. And then during my upkeep, Prismatic Bridge, I have two of them. Prismatic Bridge. Search for tomorrow. Altar of the Pantheon, Mountain, Wizard's Rockets, Jungle Shrine, <laughs> Sphere of Safety, Strionic Resonator. Wow. Plaza of Heroes. All right. Bloom Keep Tender. It. There we go. So Bloom Tender, 1-1, one, one, uh, tap for each color among permanents I control, add one mana of that color. Here's your bug, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> there are six of him. And then the second Prismatic Bridge. Prismatic Bridge. Will be Crossover Verge, Spidlunking, Evolving Wilds, Man Tower, Ether Vile, Aethrios, the other oh. Aethrios. Wow. Got a passage. 5 4 indestructible as long as my devotion of black and white is net, so it's 5 4 indestructible. Whenever another creature you own dies, return it to your hand unless target opponent pays three life. Uh oh. Okay. And then I will draw for turn. Oh, I always forget that that's just. I that's know. just the beginning. That's not yeah. even. So bad. That's not even Nelson's turn. Uh, I'll throw out a Terramorphic Expanse. Tap for two. I'm gonna tap Yenna Red Tooth Regent. I'm gonna copy Aethrios Shroud Veil. Um, Aaron, you get to make an Aethrios. Okay. Cool. There you go. Then I will, I will attack you, Aaron. Okay. With Aethrios Shroud Veiled. He is. He's got a little nine. staff. There you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so he is nine, uh, 12. In response. No. I'm going to tap these two. Oh, forest. So. These two count as four. I'm going to sack my Blighted Woodland. I'm going to look for a forest, and then I'll make a badger, and I'll use that badger, too. Yeah. All right. Bop, bop. <laughs> okay. How do you feel about that? Oh, uh, like I've been duped. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you didn't know much of life, so it was less painful That's for you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I got you all on board with that. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a <laughs> second. <laughs> Um, We've all gone over to the demon way yeah. very quickly. <laughs> so, okay, my end step then, I'm going to place some, I have two tokens to place on people. So I will, it was two, so I can keep four creatures. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So essentially got to get rid of two. So essentially I will then just get rid of the bloom tender. But also they go back to your hand unless someone pays for your life. This is true. This is so. true. Um, so let's do, uh, uh, I'll do a Bloom Tender and um, Stu Yenna. So and I will choose Maria. Uh, you can either take six or, well, three for each or. You can have your stupid cards. Wow. All right. Uh, at the end of my turn, I'm going to use this Tomb of the Spirit, or at the end of your turn, I'm going to use this Tomb of the Spirit Dragon to gain one life. Nice. But you know what? It's something, man. It's something. It counts. Uh, all right. To draw for turn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play this little friend face down. It is a morph. Uh, but I'm also going to then immediately, for three mana, uh, turn it face up. It's the ice feather aid bin. And I'll put this back in your hand. What? So I'm not going to have to sacrifice creatures. Oh, it's coming back out oh, on mine. Bye, <laughs> Dang it. And then I'm going to attack Maria for four, five, six. Uh, and I feel like these bugs need to hang back to block. So I'm going to attack Maria for six. Six? Yeah. I'm at 17. Then I'm going to play this Simic Growth Chamber. Uh, I will return, you know, whatever, this island to my hand. And then uh, at the big... Actually, now that I don't have to sacrifice things, 
I'm going to play another morph. Uh, let's see. I'm going to play this morph. Then at the end of my turn, I'm going to manifest a cre uh, manifest the top, top card of my library. And now I will pass to you. Great. I'm going to put another slag counter on my slaggy. You've gone a long time without having your commander on. I know, but you know what? I just, I have so many other, I mostly I didn't want her to have to die. That is a good point. True. Mm -hmm. That is a very good point. So I'll play a mountain for my turn. Um, should I just put this guy back out? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nope. Well, Maria, you asked, and the vote seemed to say no. Yeah. The thing is, though, Nels, you've worked your way around it with your stupid coin counters. That's true. Nels really has. Um, and I don't know if it, anything else is any better or worse. It's just like, it's really going to get out of control, I feel like, if he's not here policing the board, like being the bad guy. Wow. But you can't do all like, your cool stuff, and it's out. I this know. is a great point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There Gosh. you go. Aaron said it. Yeah. Sure. Well, I'll give you a reprieve for a little while. I might come to regret this. I'm going to play Rakdos back out from my hand. And then I'll play. Uh... Is that the name of the card? <laughs> <laughs> Rakdos come up back, back out from my, my hand. hand. <laughs> he back. And I'll play Mortarian Demon Primark, which is a 5-6 flyer. And uh, at the beginning of your end step, you may pay X if you do create X 2-2 two, two black or your creature tokens with menace. X can't be greater than the amount of life you lost this turn. Um, and so Rakdos is going to say uh, the target opponent may sacrifice two non-token -non permanents so they don't. I draw two cards. So I'm going to I'm gonna once again ask Aaron. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, go ahead, your turn. Okay, so we're going to bring Nissa up right away to seven and put three counters on this forest. Oh. Um, I'm going to play this forest from the top of my library. Yep. Makes a lot of sense. Oracle of multi essence. Nice. That that's okay. Yeah. Um, so. Hey, Oracle, can I do this? <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Okay. <laughs> now, pay the two for rampant growth. How many badges are we talking about here? We are talking about, oop, I made one badger uh, from this forest coming in. So I'm going to look for one basic forest, put it on the battlefield tap. And Surely I'll... there can't be more forest in that deck. I think that there's a lot more forest yeah. in that deck. I mean, it's thinning out for sure, but <laughs> all right, there's chock full of forest. number of forests still. I respect that they're all the same forest too. Yeah, yeah they're very I, nice. That stained glass art, it's just That's so good. Well, you know, while you're doing that, I'm gonna sacrifice my terror bar for the experience. So back yourself out. Reveal that. So you have, I have six bugs. Six bugs. A mystery. Mm -hmm. Another mystery, another mystery. Oh my goodness, I keep forgetting my death, Miss Raptor. He's also here. Okay. She's a mystery. He's a mystery. I feel like I just kind of want to hang back here. So North is back. Yeah. Thank God. I'm just going to pass. Pass the turn. Right? Yeah. This one is also a manifest, but... I feel Nels keeps being sad about having to draw. <laughs> I'll draw. You make I'll me draw. Will make me a manifest? Sure. All right, I'm gonna untap. There's, I think, you're gonna <clears> extra. <throat> oh yeah. And during my upkeep, I got two prismatic bridges. Yeah, that's totally normal and fine. Prismatic bridge. Do Stratic Crusader again? Privileged position. Plaza of Heroes. Chromatic Lantern. Anikthia, Hand of Erebos. This is absurd. That's an interesting one. Okay, so. When Anikthia enters the battlefield, she's 4-4 four, four Menace, and other enchantment creatures I control have Menace. Uh, and when she enters the battlefield or attacks, exile up to one target non-aura enchantment card from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of that, except it's a 3-3 three, three black zombie. What? So I would love to see what enchantments I have from here. I've made you a manifest uh, token. It's a candle and some crystals to help you live your dreams. Oh, thank you. I'm manifesting. You're manifesting right now, <laughs> big time. I'm manifesting a, a win. It feels out of my grasp. All right, I'm going to do the enchantment creature Weaver of Harmony. All right, it's a 3-3 three, three zombie. So it's actually a 3-3 three, three zombie, yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, and that is the first prismatic bridge trigger. Prismatic bridge. Here, hand me, hand me those paper. Hand me the paper. I'm going to make a 3-3 three, three marker. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Sphinx, Sphinx of what the Second this? Sun. 6-6 six, six flying. At the beginning of your post-combat main phase, there's an additional beginning phase after this phase. So you're uh, going to bridge again? Yeah. Two more times. Oh, my God. It sounds like a Megan kind of card. Uh, that really <laughs> does. Okay, do you know what? You're not wrong. And then I will draw for turn. <laughs> I'm so sad that I got rid of my demon now. Green, white. It's only two. Oh. Nels. Yeah. 
What happened? All sorts of good stuff. <laughs> play Yenna again? Oh yeah, totally chill. Why didn't I let that arch fiend of depravity stay in play? Will someone remind me like what I was thinking or? I agree. Play Blue Tender. Uh huh. Um, and uh, I'll move to combat. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna hold off for now. I'm gonna move to my post. So this is confusing. But I move to my post combat main phase at the beginning of the post combat main phase. We get it. You bridge again. I get it. yeah, but then when I do it, then my turn's over. Like I can't actually do anything. With it. Mm. Prismatic bridge. So upkeep number one. Kadama's reach. Cynic charms. Cross and verge. Ifara, god of the polis. You're asking if. Aaron has more forests, but my question is, do you have more creatures in this deck? Probably. Prismatic bridge. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. And Check. then Normal. Spelunking, Mountain, Swamp, Haynes, Evolving Wilds, Crufix, God of the Horizon. I see, you've got all these gods oh, in here. My God. Four, seven, of the Horizon. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, fine. Okay, this one is 4 7 indestructible. Uh, I have no maximum hand size, which is great because I have metal cards. Um, if unused mana would empty from your mana pool, that mana becomes colorless instead. So I was talking to my friends about this, and my understanding is that that persists forever. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, well, thank you. Um, okay, so so now my, my turn is over. Oh, that's all? Uh, you sure? Yes, and then I have two coin counters to put. Sure, take your time. Think about it. <laughs> we'll just be over here aging yep. into our graves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to draw a card. Oh, okay. Do you know what? I'm just going to do this. It. People need to die sometime. Uh, I'm going to turn <laughs> face up this green bar radical. When it's turned face up, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Creatures you control gain trample until end of turn. So... Everybody, you get a counter. You get a counter. It's Oprah. You get a counter. All these bugs have counter. All these oh, bugs yeah. are two twos now. You get a counter. And you get a counter. This is seven mana here. All right. Um, And then I am going to go ahead and I, Maria, you're at 17. No, I'm at 40. Oh, sorry, really quick. <laughs> Doing your upkeep, I was supposed to do Oh, yeah, you're enjoy it. Go ahead, draw your card. Uh, just don't stop me from killing Maria, please. You know. <laughs> How are you going to deal with this if you don't keep me alive with my uh, time? How? I don't. I don't know. People have to die. <laughs> People have to die. Now he's playing demons. Uh, let's see. You have three blockers. Although, Aaron, three. one, two, three. Wait, they're big, big. Uh, yeah, they're okay. pretty big. That's okay. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Uh, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and five more. Okay, all right, I have I have, I have deceased. Okay, but you still <laughs> get to choose your blocks for what dies for me. The lords of the demons uh, have uh, have lost. Um. Okay, well, I'll just block, block as profitably as possible here. Okay. To take out whatever I can take out with six six powers and one five power. Okay, Um. so I, I probably like this, this, and then one thing of your choice. Uh, the, I'm, I'll kill North. Okay, and uh, North, I'll <laughs> sacrifice this um, until end of turn. Face up non-token creatures. Uh, you control a game when this creature dies. Manifest the top card of your library. One, two, three. Uh, so North does not trigger. It's Death Miss Raptor, but this does. When it dies, I manifest the top card of my library. Great. Uh, and then I will pass to you, Aaron. Okay. Will you make me another man, please? Well, oh, what a cool. Oh, now you want me to do something. <laughs> People have to die. Yeah, I will try. I just it. feel like this is a big mistake because I don't know if either of you can deal with what's going on over there. Oh, I definitely can't, but I also don't think that you can. So <laughs> <laughs> putting her out of her own misery. Exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Guess what? He's going to kill you as so well. What I'm saying is, someone, I my defenses are down, someone kill me. <laughs> <laughs> These are tapping for two. I forgot that last time. And then we'll do this. I'll pay three for Tireless Tracker. Uh, whenever a land enters the battlefield under my control, I investigate. 
pop this up to eight and put three plus one plus one counters on another forest. It's always good to have another blocker. Thank you. And I feel like I just need to like sit back here, but people do have to die. People have to die. <laughs> Why are you looking at me when you say that, Eric? Wait a second. <laughs> Didn't you just say how vulnerable you are? I felt fine a moment ago, but then Aaron looked at me <laughs> while she said. <laughs> so we're just gonna you have one man. I'm one man. <laughs> one man. One man. <laughs> one man. Okay, so we'll send green sleeves, two badgers, and oop, this oh, has yeah, vigilance. vigilance. Um, and a forest at you, so. Okay, so let's move six, that over here. Six, six, 12, six. 18. Six, six. Wow. <laughs> I will block the green sleeves. Okay. And then I will take 18. Okay. Oh, this was cyber ship, which I really would have loved to hit someone with, but oh well. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eighteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 18. Perfect. I will pass. All right. So I don't know if this is useful or not, but at the end of your turn, I'm going to tap all my lands, which is 10 mana. And so because of... Yeah, you have 10 colorless. So I have 10 colorless. What is this eight for? That it signifies his bonus to everybody else. So all oh, the yep. legendary creatures get plus eight, plus eight. Okay. God. Really chill. Really fine. Yeah. Totally normal. <laughs> Cool stuff. And uh, let's see here. Um, I am going to. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> this Nels transforms into a mischievous. Sure does. <laughs> sure does. Um, okay, so I'm going to activate, I'm uh, going to tap this one to copy. So I'm going <laughs> to prismatic bridge three times. Prismatic bridge. Okay, yeah, totally normal. That's guy. fine. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So we've got. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is fun. This is fun. I like this fun. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not one of I'm not you're having fun now. I am. I'm sorry about everybody Oh, else. no. Um, okay, so this is Auton Soldier. It uh, comes into a battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it isn't legendary, it is an artifact in, in addition to its other types, and has myriad. Sure. So. Who's it going to be? Let's do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this Sphinx of the Second Sun. Yeah, oh, that's then yeah. a second. A, oh, another, yeah, that's really, yeah. That's really normal. Mm -hmm. Remember, you still have two bridges right now. Prismatic Bridge. I have two more bridges, yes. Yep, okay, cool. Two bridges in the bank. Yep. And next Crack one, a bridge. Arcane Signet. Chromanticore. Oh, no. Love yes. it. I, I love, love the name. Chromanticore. I do love Chromanticore. It's such a cool card. Four, four, flying, uh, first strike, vigilance, trample, lifelink. Yep. And then one more bridge, right? Yep. Prismatic bridge. Oh, yeah. For now. Uh, jungle Shrine. Wrath of God again. Sandstep Citadel. Sterling Grove. Sword Splashers. Dragon Arch. Out my coast. Tamiyo's safekeeping, geez, sphere of safety, planes. Because all of your things are in planes. <laughs> Ronus the indomitable. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's okay. a tough one. He is 5-5 five, five death touch indestructible. Um, and I can tap green and two, and another target creature gets plus two plus zero, and trample until I have turn. That's what I was thinking of, the tramp, yep. his tramp stamp. Okay. <laughs> now I move to my draw step. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'll throw down a command tower. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Megan, you're at 12 and you have yeah. no, no defenses. I have nothing. Okay. But also, I think that you can kill both of us. Can How I? could you not? You have 10 mana, mm -hmm. a lot of forests, and this Ronus, and 1 billion attacks. That is true. That is true. Um, so let's, uh, uh, let's do that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. Fair enough. Um, so I can't attack with this one, this one, this one. And what was the other one? I think that's up. Those, those three. I think it was just those three. It was only three things. Only three. Also, this is now 11. <laughs> Sick. Uh, why is that? Because you put three more, you put three more things in the play now. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, sorry, that was the man effect, yes. Um, okay. Um, We're not gonna help you with the- Oh, not three, okay, you're right, 10. There you go. 
Um, I will attack, uh, let's see, we'll go this to Megan. Yep, I'm dead from that. <laughs> be super clear, I'm very dead from that one, one single creature. One Sweet. Don't worry about anything um, else. And I will swing with everything else at you. Okay, cast your spell to, to get him. How many uh, creatures are attacking me? One, two, three, no, not this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I'm gonna pay five and play Tahir's Respite. So I'm gonna search my library for up to eight basic land cards where uh, eight is the number of creatures attacking me and then I prevent all combat damage. This <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wait, that means I'm not dead either! Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. Wow. 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 <laughs> well played. And you get eight badgers. Eight badgers yep. as well. So. One. All right. Nels, does your nose hurt from walking through that door? <laughs> okay, but now you do Ooh. get two more upkeeps. Two more. So go. Two more beginning phases. Dude, go for it. Yeah, so uh, everything untaps. Prismatic bridge. I feel bamboozled. Uh, <laughs> you feel alive is what you feel. I feel alive. I know. Yeah, I feel very alive. Do this again. <laughs> All right, three more bridges. Three more bridges. We got swamp, forest. Oh no. This one I debated to take out because my, my friends were very upset about this. Bear of the Heavens. <laughs> uh, when 1010, when the Bear of the Heavens dies, destroy all permanents. Okay. Oh all right. no, my badger. And lands and everything. All permanents? All permanents. All permanents? Yes, all permanents. Are we starting over then? <laughs> <laughs> it's not dead. I mean, that's I, only if it dies. So that's one. Okay. Prismatic Bridge. Uh, two is Nomad Outpost, OR Stone, Mogus, God of Slaughter. Okay. Uh, seven, five, Indestructible. Oh, he's not here already? <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, Mogus deals two damage to that player unless they sacrifice a creature. And then the third bridge. Prismatic Bridge. Exotic Orchard, Clothis, God of Destiny. Man, I love the third bridge. Anger, it's up for an Oscar this year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Great movie, so moving. Four or five indestructible. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, exile a card from the graveyard. If it was a land, I get red or green. Otherwise, gain two life. And this guy does two damage to each opponent. And then third bridge. <laughs> that was your third bridge. That was your third, third bridge. Nels, <laughs> Nels, <Sorry>. calm down. <laughs> uh, Nels, your battlefield looks like a kid dumped a bunch of Legos <laughs> onto the floor. Was he going to make me a clue? To oh, I was like, um, I have eight clues also. And then, so it's on tap. That was my upkeep, and then I draw a card. Oh, wait, but now you do it again. Now I do it again. Okay, just, just check so it in. So I have in. three more bridges. Okay. I'm going to give you okay. your, your clue oh, token, which you. is Hercule Poirot, ready to solve a mystery. <gasps> so cute. Did you do the double mustache? That's, like uh, Kevin. Uh, don't, don't even with me. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is not Hercule Poirot. David Suchet is the only Hercule Poirot that I will tolerate, and I will not hear anything else. I should have known. Wow. <laughs> Kenneth Branagh, you're on my okay, no. suck list. No. <laughs> <laughs> the suck list came back. <laughs> Love it. All right. Prismatic Bridge. Speaking of cyclist, uh, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> Altar of Pantheon, Carpus and Forests, Generous Gifts, Karametra, God of Harvest. Yes. Is this all the gods that exist yet, or uh, you got more in there? Well, that's probably more. Uh, six, seven, uh, whenever I cast a creature spell, I can search my library for a forest or plains card and put it off tapped. That's bridge number one. Prismatic Bridge. Number two, Arcane Sanctum. Jeru and Hazaret. As long as you have one or few cards in hand, I have two. Uh, it has Vigilance and Haste. And when it attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. I can exile a legendary creature from among them and cast it without paying its mana cost. Prismatic Bridge. And then the oh, last yeah. one is Eroes, God of Victory. Thank you. Seven four is uh, creatures I control have menace. Uh, prevent all damage that would be dealt to attacking creatures I control. What? Rude. All right. You done? <laughs> wow, you're so self. So don't forget that these also belong to yep. you. All right. Let's see here. Well, Megan, you've been given a second chance at life here. I, thanks to uh, Aaron. I'm going to not make much of it. <laughs> There's a couple things, so I put two more counters down. Yeah, two more coin counters. Uh, Let's do, um... During your upkeep, I draw a card. 
Okay. Well, you know, I suppose let's go with the bang. Let's cast our Vanifar. Hey, buddy. What's up? She's you back. Ready to, you ready to die soon? <laughs> hey, Vanifar. Welcome back. Are you ready to die? The commander game is dark. Uh, all right. And then I am going to, uh, I will cloak this card from my hand with her ability. And then I will just pass the turn. Okay. On your end step, I'm uh-huh. going to pay six and yeah. crack the three clues. Yeah. So I'll uh, try and find some sorry, answers. Sorry, I missed a trigger too. for you. Which was? Uh, at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, this guy does two damage unless you sacrifice a creature. Nope. I'll, wait, no. I take, uh, I'll sacrifice a bug. There you go. All right. Okay. Two. I need three cards, so I have to reveal them. Okay. I'll we'll just take two. All right. Well, untap. Too many things to untap here. I just personally love Nels's Boris State, which looks like a seven layer burrito right now. <laughs> wait, wait a second. I cannot let the phrase seven layer burrito pass. <laughs> what, what are you? How many layers is the a seven burrito? seven-layer dip. A, a burrito is not layers. Yeah, a seven-layer dip is a thing. Was... Do you think, okay, look, do you like bite into a burrito and like your first bite is sour cream and your next bite is cheese? <laughs> do, you do you think it's like a are layer you burrito me a seven from seven-layer burrito, burrito is not something that exists and I just invented it? Or is it seven burritos <laughs> on top layered of each together. other? together. A burrito cannot be layers. There is for sure a thing as a seven-layer burrito, right? No, seven that's layers. what I'm saying. I'm kind of with Megan on this. Like, it I, doesn't exist. It's like a seven-layer bar or a seven-layer dip. Karen's Karen's trying to take her turn. Well, well, I'm I'm really like important. trying to think. Here. Okay, go ahead. You take while we talk about yeah. the seven-layer burrito. I'm gonna ask our audio help. Okay. Can you Google seven-layer burrito? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see this. I just whole cloth invented a food item that does not exist. On the Taco Bell wiki, there apparently was an eight-layer burrito. Wow. Was a large meatless burrito filled with tomatoes, refried beans, seasoned rice, three cheese blend, low-fat sour cream, guacamole, salsa, and I gotta click on it to read the rest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, vindicated. I just want to point out that there's a Taco Bell wiki. Yes. yes. Well, I also want to. I also want to say that if you are making a burrito with layers, you are doing it wrong. It needs to be all mixed up inside. I'm really hungry for burrito. It was inspired now. by the seven-layer dip. Hey. All right. Okay. All right. Full Thanks. circle. Inspired by the seven-layer dip. Okay. So I'm going to pay two into Nickthos Shrine to Nyx. It's going to tap for nine since I have nine devotion. Right. So with that nine, five of it, I'm going to play Titania, Protector of Argoth. So when it enters the battlefield, I return target land card from my graveyard to the battlefield. And I will return, we'll just do this forest. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice of Badger you. count. And we'll just uh, pretend we've got two more badgers here, and these are the new badgers that are coming in. That return, and whenever a land I control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, I make a 5-3 green elemental creature token. Nice, wow. So we will... A one, or actually I have four more floating. So one of that, I'm gonna do crop rotation. So as an additional cost to cast a spell, I sacrifice a land uh, and then I search my library for a land card, put that card onto the battlefield and then I shuffle my library. I will sack a forest and then I will make a five, three elemental. Who says we don't reduce, reuse and recycle here? Enjoy your elemental. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just, Again, make this easier on me. Uh, prismatic Vista. I, so I can... I'm triggered by the word prismatic. <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> <laughs> I can prismatic too. <laughs> no, not again. No, no, no. I'm gonna wake up today. Prismatic <laughs> bridge, bridge, no. <laughs> I'm gonna make two more badgers and then I make some clues also. So I make two clues. Okay. Oh, there's a lot going on. I um, mean, if this is a seven layer burrito, this is a tater tot hot dish. <laughs> yeah. My <Wow>. favorite food. <laughs> Absolutely. Rhea, I felt like we both brought knives to gunfights. Yeah, I really think we did, <laughs> for sure. Did. I think we did a we little bit. Like, I playing demons. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do um, this three for elemental bond. So whenever a creature with power three or greater enters the battlefield under my control, I draw a card. Sick. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to ultimate Nissa for eight. 
So I get an emblem with lands I control have indestructible, and then I search my library for any number of forest cards, put them onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle my library. And I don't know how many forests I have in here. I just <laughs> looked at it. Wow. <laughs> so we got one, do that, and that. Badger count, clue count. <laughs> I can make a Nissa emblem. All right. Do that. Another badger. Another clue. <laughs> and I'm drawing cards for each of those. So I've made it two so far. Three. <laughs> Here's your Nissa emblem. Nissa did the thing. <laughs> Enjoy. Four. I feel like we didn't even bring knives to this gunfight. I feel like we brought, we brought slappers only. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We brought our hands to a gunfight. Officially out of forest now. Wow. Okay, so we're revealing. I'm gonna do this Balakette Sanctuary. We got Staff of Titania and Evolving Wilds. Okay. I'm just like looking for something to do about this whole thing. No, that's fair. You don't even But also, that? if this bearer of the heavens dies, then we all have to sacrifice everything forever. True. Forever. That's true. Forever. Forever. We can't play on I didn't say part. forever. No more games. So I'm going to play Balagid Recovery, return target card from my graveyard to my hand. Yeah. And I'll bring back Jahira's Respite. Yeah, I think you need that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Which one is that? It, it's the one uh, that prevents combat damage now. <laughs> that's not good. Don't love that. So that thing is not indestructible. The bear. You gotta be real specific. <laughs> <laughs> Can you oh my God. Oh, no. No, no, no. <laughs> real specific. Look, uh, my entire deck's not face up on the table. I don't know what to tell you. This is not indestructible, though. Okay. So green sleeves is a 48 48 when yeah. I attack with it. Yeah. So, I mean, how big do you want to go out? Yeah, <laughs> did you want 40 AB with that commander? <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Uh, and then, Nels, I will attack you with these badgers. So there's 10 6 6 badgers coming at you. And that is a terrifying sentence. Kind of is, yeah. Two 6 6 uh, 6 6 forests. So there are 12. I die. Okay. I okay. die. I, I die. There are 12 six, six things coming after me? Yep. Okay. Right, you were right. Or actually, sorry. At the end. Yeah, 12 in <laughs> total. Yes. Okay. I knew it died. I have 10 indestructible things that will block 10 of them, so I have two more. Mm -hmm. they're both 6-6. Six, six. Black <laughs> with a bloom tender. <laughs> no, this is like the beautiful line math is going in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> the Claire Danes meme. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Let's do Jiro and Hazard. Okay, so everything got blocked. Yes. Okay. All these guys are dead. So um, we will play all his, all his dust. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Dust him! Yes, and it's sacrifices. Hmm. Yeah, it is Not sacrifices. Not much I can do about that. Okay. Yeah. So everything's going to die. Your yeah, Bear of the Heavens is going to blow up and blow everything up, too. Wait, is that... Uh, but I would take out my prismatic bridge, too, right? It's, it's sacrifices. It yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just keep looking for it, buddy. Okay, I'm sure so, it's in there. Okay, so, well, then these four all have that counter on them. Yes, but they'll come back, and then Bearer of the Heaven says, at her end step. Right, so then they go away. You, yep. so you destroy them all. Everything goes away, right? I'm not missing anything. Like, I'm losing literally everything. Everything goes away. Okay. Scoop, scoop them up. Oh. <laughs> scoop, scoop them up. And then at oh. the end of your turn, you destroy everything of yours. True. And Aaron destroys everything except her lance. True. And the clues. Um, <clears throat> no, Bear of the Heavens destroys everything. Oh, 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 oh. But because yeah. of your Nissa emblem, your lands are indestructible. Wait, we gotta get this Nissa emblem back in. Yeah, because uh, it is Nissa actually Run deeply in. relevant. <laughs> Well, okay, in response to that trigger, yeah, you should yeah, I have those. 10 clues, so. So then does this trigger? Whenever another creature you own dies, return it to your hand unless target opponent pays to be life? Uh, yeah, actually that does. Um, I mean, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16. 16, but also you're about to not have any lands to cast them. 
It's true. Uh, it's true. It's I'm true. fine with them going to your hand. Okay. All right. So Aaron says, <laughs> draw, draw 16. Aaron is paying no life, and they all go back to your hand. Oh, my gosh. Doing. <laughs> at least you have a nice full oh, hand. Oh, yeah. Look at, all, look at that hand. A bouquet okay. of cards. Like, when that thing triggers, I'm also going to pay for oh, and when this six, leaves eight the to battlefield. crack four clues before they yeah, like, yeah. go away. Uh, because of this, when that leaves the battlefield, okay. I draw two guards. All right. So this bridge goes away. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this game, this game this is so unreal. spicy. Unreal. <laughs> okay. I pass. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, it mm. looks like Nelson's now also out of the game, but to be fair, he's not. I mean... <laughs> You got that, what, <laughs> what can you do with one mana, you know? Hmm. We don't even know if he has a land in his hand. That's, that's true. <laughs> that's 16 creatures in Nels's hand. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. I'll play... Rushland. All right! <laughs> yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> Discard to hand size? Oh, uh, yeah, in a second. Uh, let's do... Uh... I'll tap and I'll put out an ether vial. Okay, <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. yeah. And I will pass the turn and I will choose all my cards to keep. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So I will untap a chunk. This is. I gotta say, this is so spicy. I am loving this. <laughs> that blow, that guy blowing up all of Nell's lands and yours having indestructible is the coolest thing that I, I, I think I've ever seen. Thank you, Nissa. Thank you for your service. I will start out. By playing Defiler of Vigor. So it has Trample, it's a 6 6, and as an additional cost to cast green permanent spell that can pay two life, and those spells cost like a green less to pay, so it's basically Phyrexian mana. And then whenever I cast a green permanent spell, I put a plus one plus one counter on each creature I control. Nice. So I'm going to yes. pay another five, actually six. For Ancient Green Warden, so we'll put a counter on each of these. They're four fours now. Uh, then, Horse of Crucis. Put another counter. Here's an all fit, you know, now this guy gets one too. Yeah. Again. <laughs> oh, and Defiler <laughs> yeah. also. So, perfect. Uh, then, Salonese for Shia, Soul of the Wild. So yeah. I'm going to pay two into Nykthos Shrine to Nyx. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I will use two of that to cast Staff of Titania. Uh, equipped creature gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of forests I control. <laughs> wow! And then whenever it attacks, I make a 1-1 one, one green forest dryad land creature token. <coughs> so with another three of that floating mana, I'll just equip Staff of Titania to this forest, and I will... Swing these guys, they have vigilance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what do you got? You can do something with that ether mm. vial? Yeah, well, how much damage are you talking to? Yeah. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 are you, 20. Are you able to count? 21. Yes. I'm just like, I started yeah. counting your forest, I can't okay, count so all of them. <laughs> five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then this uh, is making a forest dryad when it comes in, so 24. 24. What can you do? <laughs> Great Hall of the Citadel. <laughs> That was amazing. <laughs> what an incredible game. <laughs> the British Queen wave. Guys. And now we have to yes. do, uh, we got to do our patented good game handshake here, okay. which is uh, the cross everyone, handshake. Yes, everyone. Wait, no, no, <laughs> you got to cross them. You, you got to cross them. Like there we go. Oh my God, you guys, that was so uh, good. Unbelievable. <laughs>